Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here and welcome to 60 and Me. Today I'm going to talk to you about something which is a new trend, old trend, <laughs> facial oils. This is something that I've become personally very interested in over the last few months and I've been trying all kinds of interesting products and you know I just wanted to give you an update on what I've discovered and um, maybe give you some guidance as to where to uh, look for the best facial oils and what they really are. You know what is a facial oil as opposed to a serum? You know what what value do facial oils offer that a uh, regular moisturizer doesn't? So I thought I'd um, just r remind you first of all that um, oils like coconut oil and argan oil have been around for ages. Um, they've been popularized in the last few years. Um, argan oil in particular has been integrated into um, you know, shampoos and hair products, hand creams, and, uh, and coconut oil. I mean, it is like, honestly, for me, like my go-to go standby <laughs> product for everything. I cook with it, I uh, wash my face with it, I put it on my hands and cuticles, on my hair, and I've been using coconut oil for a long time. But with coconut oil, you really have to wash it off. You know, you put it on, you use it to cleanse, and then you take a flannel or face cloth and wipe it off. So it's not something that you would rub into your skin and uh, use as a kind of as a, a treatment for your skin. But facial oils that have been popping up all over the place are, you know, exactly for that purpose. Um, they really are amazing. I've used some myself and I'm going to share with you those ones that I've had experience with and also talk to you about some of the other um, products that are available and um, and just, you know, talk about the spectrum of opportunity that you have with, with facial oils. Now, facial oils and oils of all kinds have been being used by you know indigenous cultures and um, our grand great grandmothers for years. Um, Sophia Loren apparently bathed in olive oil, and uh, you know people just know the value of oil in your skin. It's almost a natural ingredient. Um, but some of the recent uh, developments have been adding organic. Um, plant products uh, that have really just been you know, un un unfolded and are, are being discovered um, all around the world. So when you look at a facial oil now and you compare it to a moisturizer, the first thing that you can really say is that it's very lightweight. It is not uh, mixed with any wax, um, which a lot of uh, moisturizers include. It's a very pure, clear product that you put on your face and um, it's a great moisturizer. It blends with, uh, with your makeup. Yeah, a lot of the plants that are used in these facial oils have um, antibiotic and, um, you know, sort of medical, not medical, but, um, uh, you know, good things for the skin. They're actually helpful. And we're discovering plants all the time <laughs> that we didn't know existed and actually had, um, you know, have a good beneficial effect on your skin. So. It promises everything, you know, from smoothing wrinkles to uh, soothing irritation, reducing inflammation. You know, uh, these facial oils have, are really um, making all kinds of claims about what they can do for your skin. But, um, you know, there, there do seem to be some very um, interesting products that I would recommend based on my own experience. It's always just me. And, um, and then also get your feedback. You know, tell us what you're using. And uh, we can, you know, we can share, <laughs> share our knowledge. So one thing before I start, I made a note here to be sure to tell you is with facial oils, when you're looking at the ingredients, if they say essential oils, like using lavender essential oil or, um, you know, essential oil from this plant, just be a little careful because some people have a, a reaction to um, to these these oils, to these essential oils. They're very strong, and if you put them on your face and go outside in the in the sun, for example, you can get a little bit blotchy and even break out. And of course, don't um, uh, put these oils, any of these oils, in your eyes. I mean, of course, you can put them around your eyes, but just be careful. Um, I've tried some that just make your eyes a little blurry and and even just the scent of them. So just mind your eyes when you're when you're applying these uh, facial oils. Now. Um, the, obviously, it's a big business. By the way, um, in case you're still <laughs> here looking at me, I have no makeup on today. Zero. Well, I have a little teeny bit of lip gloss, and uh, that's it. But I wanted to start with a fresh skin so that I could show you some of these oils and um, you just show you a little bit about how to apply them as well. So just bear with me a second while I go through this uh, because it's just important background information. If you're going to go out and buy these oils, they can be quite expensive. 
So um, now be careful, of course, that this is a big business. Facial oils have become big business. So just make sure that when you're buying your products, you look at the ingredients and just try to choose ones, in my opinion, that are made um, you know, with organic products and from plants that, um, you know, that you can do some research on and uh, that they are pure, you know, that they're not blended with any filler or any petroleum products or things that um, won't be good on your skin. Try to find ones that are, um, you know, that are organic and pure products. Believe it or not, this is not so easy. You'll find that some of the facial oils now are full of all different kinds of things. And um, I'm going to try to talk about the ones that I know about that are from pure plant products. So I've tried both extremes uh, in terms of pricing. Uh, I, I, didn't, I haven't actually purchased the, the really super expensive ones, but I did buy the um, Linda Rodin. Um, Rodin is a, a model. She's, been, she's very well known. She was almost the one that got this facial oil business uh, kind of kicked off a couple of years ago. She's very beautiful. Of course, she's in her 70s, uh, maybe even 80s now, but uh, she's been using this skin product. She made it herself. She kind of put ingredients together that she loves. And I'll tell you a little bit more about her product later, but I've tried this one. As you can see, it's almost empty because it cost $120 and I got it uh, because I really wanted to, wanted to try it. So, and I've used it very, very sparingly. And then another one that I will talk to about later is the, uh, the sort of another end of the scale, which is one that I really do love. Uh, is from a, a website called Growing Younger Gracefully. Uh, Sheena uh, is a wonderful um, healer and a woman with a with a, a very deep commitment to looking at aging from a positive uh, perspective. And her oil is put together with um, rosewood, um, so rose oil, grapeseed oil, and natural pure products that kind of move this product into a serum range. But I'll talk more about that later because facial oils tend to not have any ingredients that claim to boost collagen or to do anything to help with wrinkles. They really talk about moisturizing and healing and soothing the skin. So those are those. You can go the two extremes, you know, $120, $40, and really, honestly, everything in between. So just be aware of that and um, be careful when you're purchasing. And I know you will, because it's a lot of money. And, but these things can replace other products. And I've found that I go to my facial oils now before almost anything else. So where do you find these oils and what are the best ones? So I found um, there's a list of, I think, nine or 10 on a site called Goop. Dot com. Now, I normally wouldn't recommend a site that I don't know too much about, but this is one by Gwyneth Paltrow, um, actress and uh, superstar extraordinaire, and she um, she is has a website that's about lifestyle, um, beauty, fashion, healthy living, and she did I think a good job of, of listing these uh, nine or ten uh, facial oils that are you know have been tested and have ingredients that are pure with no additional petroleum or mineral oil. And I won't go through all of them because you can go to her site and get a great overview of um, of what these uh, these uh, oils are. But she says that they you know basically they improve skin tone, they provide electric elasticity, and they help to smooth wrinkles. All of these ones. Now, of course, she has one of her own. It's Goop Juice Beauty Enriching uh, Face Oil, one hundred and ten dollars blend of organic oils. Now, I could read all the different ingredients, but it's probably best for you to go do some research and uh, check them out. Uh, she talks about one called Vintner's Daughter's Botanical Serum, 22 active uh, organic botanicals, so 22 plants. And, you know, the scientists mix these all together in magical ways and feel they have a solution. So, you know, you have to kind of go one by one. Um, she talks about one called Maya Chia, super critical omega-3 oil. And this, of course, is a great, um, uses uh, plants that have a source of um, uh, omega fatty acids. $59, that's not as expensive. Now, the, um, the Rodine one that I mentioned earlier is made from 11 flowers and uh, plant oils. And she uses uh, an oil called Neroli. I think that's the base oil. Um, and it's again, it's $170 now for a, a bottle of this uh, Rodin oil. And I, I must admit, I've got to take a step back here because it is amazing. It's a lovely oil and the scent is gorgeous. And I do like it a lot. It, when you put it on, 
it kind of makes your face tingle a little bit, like it gets not, not red, but a little teeny bit glowy. So right away, <laughs> you see um, a benefit with that one. So of all the expensive ones, personally, I've only tried the Rodin, uh, they call it Oleo Lusso. Um, I, would, that, I would suggest that's a good one to try if you have $170 that you'd like to spend on oil for your face. And if you're not spending it on other things, then that's a good investment. It lasts a long time. I bought this oil maybe two years ago, and I've still got some left. Uh, so I don't use it every single day. But anyway, that's one. Now, the other one she talks about are uh, L'Occitane. Now, L'Occitane is a really well-known uh, French brand. I went into their little shop here yesterday and got a sample of their one, which is called L'Occitane um, Divine mm, Uthor. Divine Youth Oil. <laughs> I can't read it without my glasses, but Divine Youth Oil. Now, I've used their Divine um, Cream Moisturizer, and it's lovely. And this one does have, um, I think, about nine or ten plant ingredients. I've actually um, I've actually tried it. I've got, a little, I've got one that's actually open here, and I'll just put it a little bit on my face here so you can see. Kind of, I'll put it just on this side here. And you can see right away it gives your face a little bit of a glow, very much to the Rodan product. So I, I kind of like this L'Occitane product. It is um, 100 francs, which is about, that'd be about $100. So um, you can see it's actually quite a, a nice oil. And um, I, I'll leave that one on that side so you can see. But right away, as, as you can see, you get a glow. And you can, go, you can mix this in with your uh, foundation you know, put it on all of your all over your face, or you can just leave it on and just go. And um, there are some acupressure and massage um, techniques that I can uh, I can show you, which I will. <laughs> so, my choices now. Again, I've spoken a little bit about um, the Growing Younger uh, Gracefully website, which I would I'd advise you to check out. It's a really cool site, and um, Sheena um, is Charles is putting a lot of effort into um, not just uh, products, but also um, massage and yoga. She's a Reiki master, and uh, this product is is, in my opinion. The one that I would choose because it's the right price it's $40 an ounce and it's got a really nice texture now if you can take a look at this is from my little jar here I'll put it a little bit just a couple of drops on my hand it's not as golden yellow as the um, the Rodin one but um, this is um, the growing growing younger gracefully product and I'm just gonna put a little bit on and Sheena suggests that you pat it on instead of rubbing it on just pat it on it has a lovely scent, it really does. And I'm just gonna put a little bit, actually I'll take a teeny bit more from my forehead and just drop it on my, and um, just dab it, dab it on. I mean, the scent of both of these together is really lovely, but you can just pat it on and, you know, kind of relax as you're doing it. Now, there's um, a woman, her name is Lisa Eldridge, Yes, Lisa Elbridge. She's a makeup artist and she does all kinds of amazing videos on YouTube. But I found um, uh, one of her web, her videos where she talks about facial massage. And um, she is really, really good. It's If you've got 20 seconds or 20 minutes, she says she has a solution. And this video is about 20 minutes long and it goes through how to apply facial oil. And of course you start with something that's liquid, that's not so... Um, you know, not so uh, dry because you, you're going to be pulling your skin a little bit and you don't want it to, you know, to be um, her, um, you know, pulled and dragged. But anyway, so I've got my Growing Younger Gracefully uh, serum on and of course you can put it down into your neck and your chest and you know, don't forget um, those parts of your body too. So ways to, to massage. Um, Sheena does give you some uh, pressure points that you can press, but in terms of just rubbing it in, you can do massage this way or this way, or you can do these, this sort of scissor movement at the top that Lisa talks about, which is very cool. And of course, you can rub your eye, uh, the whole circle around your eyes. And she does this uh, beautifully on her video. So I'm not gonna show you exactly what to do, but there's all kinds of ways that you can take the amazing uh, bot botanical goodness in these oils and penetrate puffy eyes, wrinkles, age spots, all kinds of things. 
Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. But that's um, the, that's my choice of, of oil. I would the uh, growing younger gracefully. It's um, she calls it a serum, organic facial serum. But um, it's got so many ingredients that are oils, and then some extras that um, help with collagen production and um, and wrinkles. That um, I think it's for me. It works. It's a good product. The other one uh, that I'm using, and I just discovered this one, is is a cacao oil. Now I mentioned this in a previous video. It's actually by a company called Oils of Heaven and I ordered this just on spec. I had done quite a bit of research on cacao, which is um, an oil that comes from a nut in the Amazon forest in Colombia and it's just one oil. So that, that's what I like about this one. I mean, um, Sheena's product, this uh, Growing Younger Gracefully, is actually a, a, a blend of, um, of, of several different, it's got, um, I can't remember all the different ingredients, but she's got, I think, grapeseed oil, rose oil, frankincense, um, lavender, and uh, a helicicrum flower, which I think is a sunflower, but that's uh, in the, uh, the blend. This one is just a cacao oil. Now, cacao, um, I'm going to read some notes here because it's pretty interesting. It's actually got 50% more vitamin E and uh, twice the amount of um, line lineolic acid than argon oil. And it's got three times more retinol than uh, rosehip oil. Now, retinol, as you may or may not know, is a really um, fairly well-known uh, um, product that people put on their skin to, it's, it's an anti-aging uh, product and it's supposed to, you know, sort of refresh the skin and it, it has a, a medicinal purpose. So you've got to get a prescription for most of it, but there are some products that have naturally got retinol in them. So this is not by any means going to have enough retinol, you know, to, to do that treatment, but it has three times more than uh, rose oil, which is uh, uh, the base for a lot of other, other oils. Now, this is um, a very interesting oil. I'll put some on because I really uh, want you to see, um, this is the cacao oil. It's actually, when you put it on, a lot um, more oily. It looks uh, more like oil, but it's actually immediately, uh, in, well, certainly in my case, absorbed into the skin. And it's very, very, very um, uh, kind of luxurious. I can't describe it in any other way. It's got a very, very smooth and subtle feeling. It's odorless. Um, it's, it's like a dry oil almost. It's not, it's oily, but it's dry, if you can understand that difference. It's really, really um, interesting. And as I said, it's got lots more vitamin E than argon oil, and um, I like it. I use it at night. What I tend to do is use the argo, this um, uh, cacao in the evening, and then I use the other uh, one in the, the, the serum in the morning. And I actually mix it in with a bit of foundation. So that's, that's the thing about these products. Now, there, I wanted to mention one to you too, just as a final note. Um, this is uh, bio oil. Now, bio oil, I mentioned the other day uh, in another video because I um, had been told it was a very low um, price uh, product for, for people who wanted to try facial oil. Well, it is low price, but of course, in the classic, you get what you pay for. Um, it's, it's been marketed as um, an oil for stretch marks for, um, for pregnant women and uh, for kind of softening skin. And it really hasn't been marketed, as far as I can see, as a facial oil, although people do use it that way. It has got a large percentage of mineral oil in it. And so, of course, mineral oil is a petroleum product. And if you want to get the benefit of a facial oil, but you don't want to spend $40, which is the least expensive one that I could find, that, that had good ingredients, natural ingredients, um, then you might want to try bio oil. Because obviously it's, got, it's not as pure in the sense of pure uh, plant products, but it is an oil that, um, that you know, will give your, your skin some, um, some moisture and you can use it as a base for massaging your face, which is super valuable. So I wanted to give you that whole spectrum of product availability so that you know. Now, I know for sure that drugstores around the world are developing products um, that are probably less expensive and, um, and say that they have good ingredients. I would just, only the one thing is to look for the word mineral oil. Um, there's probably other coded words to describe petroleum oil um, in, in products and try to find one that's maybe made by a small little shop or somebody blending it in their home or you know, like a small um, uh, boutique shop because you're likely to get something closer to um, a pure product that way. And um, if you've got a favorite, 
if you have a product that you love and you and you would like to share it with us um, you know we're not here to sort of promote lots of products but I want to be specific and if you found something in boots in the UK or at Target or um, you know Walmart or somewhere in the in the States uh, or in Australia I know you've got great products down there. Uh, let's let us know. You know, put it in the comments section below, and we'll uh, we'll you know just make it available, make the information available for everyone. So uh, that's our little chat on facial oils. I hope that it's been helpful. I hope it's um, at least started a conversation about a product that's um, getting a lot of press and a lot of attention, and that you're getting to take advantage of it if you like. So leave your questions below and leave your comments on any products that you found that you love yourself and we'll have a conversation. And I want to thank you for being here and uh, for joining us on this fun uh, makeup skincare journey. Take good care, everybody. Bye-bye for now.